topics tonight. We need some. We need some topics. We need some shit. That we need to liven up the audience. This sucks. It's this the energy level down this, in this this dungy shithole basement is low. Apple phones. Apple phones. Right. Who? Apple phones. The number. Well, number two, really. Uh, number number two phone on the planet. Um, next to next to Android. Uh, ooh, boo, Android sucks. Yay, Apple's the best. Uh, blah blah blah. <clears throat> Most people have Androids, of course, in the planet. But in America, of course, an iPhone is the gold standard. I have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, you have a small dick. So everybody's got an iPhone. Let's be, let's be honest with you. People love their iPhones. An iPhone to a man is almost like an extension of his penis. For some guys, obviously, it's like a, a, a literal extension of his penis because hashtag dick, dick pics are everywhere. You know, guys love sending that little dick out all the time. But anyhow, Apple phones, number one, the best. They're the fucking greatest thing ever. Yeah, they're fucking fantastic. I love my Apple phone right up. Right up until what? Until what? Until that motherfucker breaks, man. When that motherfucker breaks, your fucking head explodes because you don't know what the fuck to do. You can't contact anybody. You can't send text. You can't talk to anybody. Your whole fucking world is shattered. You're done. You're finished. The fucking life shuts down. The universe is finished. You're done. You're sitting there and you're going, oh, my God. I can't fucking move a muscle. My fucking iPhone's broken. So what do you do? You look. <clears throat> you go to the Apple store. You go to the Apple store. You sit there. Oh, my iPhone's broken. Those little Apple techs. Those little, those little Apple geniuses. Bing! I'm a genius. I know everything about Apple products. Great, fucking great for you, kid. You're fucking. You know how to fucking fix an iPhone. Oh my God! You're gonna be the next fucking Steve Jobs. No, you're not. You're gonna be a little schmuck and you're gonna be a pain in my ass. But anyhow, fix my fucking iPhone so I can send more dick pics to fuck women who don't want them. <clears throat> anyhow, so I give the kid my iPhone. He looks back at me. He goes. Okay, unfortunately, you're digitizing anal app, whatever the fuck it is that broke on my goddamn iPhone. And, and he goes, it's going to be $450 to fucking fix the iPhone. I'm like, $450 to fix my fucking iPhone? It cost me five fucking hundred dollars to fucking buy it. He goes, well, that's all, I'm sorry, sir, but you're out of warranty. Your six fucking week warranty on your iPhone expired. I'm like, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving Apple. I already gave Apple half my fucking grandkids fucking college fund. I'm not giving him more money to fucking fix his iPhone. So fuck that. So I go, where the fuck can I get this iPhone fixed where it's not going to cost me half my fucking lung? <clears throat> so what do I do? I look online. I look around. I go to the fucking mall. There's some fucking 12-year-old kid with fucking super goggles on sitting in a goddamn chair that looks like it's from fucking Star Trek. I can fix your iPhone, sir. I go, all right, what's wrong with this fucking thing? Uh, bad digitizer and your, uh, your reintegrating microprocessor chip is fucked up. It'll cost you $45. Forty-five fucking dollars. It's like fuck. It's like ninety percent cheaper than the fucking. Device. Fuck yeah, kid. Fix this fucking thing. You're goddamn. You're the fucking genius, not the shitheads at fucking Apple. Fucking kid. I goddamn option. That's what I love about America, man. A little fucking entrepreneur right there, sitting there fucking fixing the shit right up. So I, I go. How long's gonna take? It's a week, two weeks. He's like, eh. give me an hour. Fucking hour. So I go off. I you know. I do what I do. I fucking look around. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do actually because I don't have an iPhone. You know, my entire life revolves around a fucking iPhone now. So I go and I actually I take a walk in the woods. I'm, I'm walking in the woods. I'm looking around. Not not pervert stuff. I'm just I'm enjoying fucking nature, people. So I'm walking around, checking shit out. And I uh, you know I just uh, nothing weird. I walk take a walk for an hour. Come back. Kids got my iPhone fixed. I'm like this is fucking, this is fucking fantastic. This is fucking amazing. This is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna take this thing home. And I'm gonna be working on my iPhone. My iPhone's working again. My life is fucking fixed. I'm fa I'm I am fucking on top of the world. Yay fucking iPhone or yay 12 year old little geek that knows how to fix every goddamn thing. I take this thing away and I'm fucking, I'm, I'm off. So <clears throat> six months goes by, a year goes by, iPhone fucks up again. This time I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I am not near any place where little freaking geniuses are that can fix my iPhone for cheap. I'm screwed. I have to go to the Apple store. Not to get a goddamn Apple to get my stupid freaking iPhone fixed. I have no choice. I'm in bum fucking whack land. The fuck, there's no other fucking electronic stores around except there's one Apple store, so I got to go in there. I bring my Apple phone in. Sit on the counter again. Apple, my phone is not fucking working. I can't contact my sick dying mother in a goddamn hospital. Fix this fucking thing now. That will be $500, sir. I'll be like, all right, fix the fucking phone. I'm like, okay. So I whip out my fucking credit card, put it on the table. Kid looks at the phone, comes the rover. He goes, oh, well, we can't fix this. What, what, what do you mean you can't fix it? You're fucking Apple. You built the goddamn thing. You should be able to fix the fucking phone. So he looks at me straight, straight in the fucking eye, and he goes, you had this repaired by uh, somebody other than a standard Apple person. I'm sorry. We don't fix uh, out, of, uh, out of Apple repairs. I'm like, you little cocksucker. I spent fucking $500 on this fucking phone. I get it fixed someplace else, and now, and now I can't get it fixed. No, sorry, sir. It's our policy. Can't fix that. 
can't fix phones that were repaired by somebody else. But it's fixed. It's working. It was working, and now it's not working. I just want you to fix it. Put every fuck, whatever you got to do, just fix it. No. No, they won't fucking do it. it. Makes absolutely no fucking sense to me. So I'm like, all right, great. Fuck this. Of course, I didn't switch to Android. I, kept, I bought another fucking iPhone eventually. But, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Does it make any sense to you? Does it make any sense to you that you bring a fucking iPhone back to Apple? Say you want it fixed. Somebody else worked on it. They won't fucking fix the thing. They won't fix it. Even if it, it's like, that doesn't matter. They're like, the fuck, you're not going to fix it. That's like, that's like, let's say, fuck it. Let's say I got a Lexus, right? Man, my beautiful fucking Lexus car is fucking amazing. I take it. Car works fucking fine. <clears throat> I take it for an oil change. I go down to the dealership. They go, how much for the oil change for the Lexus? That'll be uh, $125. I go, fuck you. I'm not fucking paying $125 for an oil change. Hang on. Anyway. So I go, fuck that. I go down to fucking Jiffy Lube, Jiffy Pop, whatever the fuck it is, get the, the goddamn thing done. Fix the fucking, change the oil in the car. All right, the car's working fine. Everything's perfect. Fucking fine. Everything's working great. Shit. Fucking son of a bitch. Power window's not working on my goddamn Lexus. So I take it, take it back to the Lexus dealership. Obviously, Jiffy fucking Wing Wang Lube can't fix the goddamn thing. Pull in the Lexus. Pull down the window. Say, hey, man. Talk to the service tech. Hey. Windows don't work. Rolls up to the car. Looks in the car. He's my little Jiffy Pop Lube sticker on the fucking windshield. And he goes, sorry, sir, but uh, apparently you got your oil changed at Jiffy Lube. We don't fix Lexuses that had their oil changed anywhere other than Lexus. You're going to have to uh, take it someplace else to get your car fixed. It makes absolutely no fucking sense. So you know what? All these fucking high-priced, fucking high-end fucking gadgets can kiss my fucking ass. I've had enough of them. I'm throwing my fucking iPhone out. I'm full of shit. Then how's my mom going to fucking find out where the fuck I am? Fucking technology, right? Screw that shit sucks.